Hey folks, Alan Mandic, Mandic really here with 3D printing Black Friday deals. We are coming to you from my dad's garage today because it is Tofurky Day today. Between the cooking of dishes, I dove in looking for the deals for you folks, whether it be full on 3D printers, parts for printers, tools for working on them, supplies to go with them. I tried to find the best things that I saw that I could share with you folks. So if you're shopping for a 3D printing enthusiast or you're looking for yourself, let's get into this right now. Let's start off with the 3D printers themselves. The first one, the one that really jumped out at me at a good price is the Elegoo Neptune 2. This machine usually runs about $170, $180, depending on when you go to find it. Right now on sale, it's $152. I've been meaning to get around to a long-term review of this machine for months. I've been running one for about six months plus now, and I have put hundreds of hours on that machine. I have some opinions about it, it's by no means my go-to recommendation for a printer, but at $152, it's a pretty hard value to argue with. But if you want a machine that's maybe a little bit of a step up from that one, we have the Ender 3 V2. That comes with a glass bed on it, truly quiet stepper motor drivers on all of the axes, not just the X and Y. You've got easy belt adjustment on it, the Meanwell power supply, a lot of really good upgrades. And from the folks at Comgrow right now, that is on sale for $209. The Ender 3 series is generally my go-to recommendation for a starter 3D printer. There is so much useful information online, so many YouTube videos, help articles, Reddit posts, so many things out there dedicated to the Ender 3. You can basically Google solve any problem you're ever gonna have with that machine with just a quick little search. There's more information available for them and that is really valuable. At 209 right now, the Ender 3 V2 is a compelling value. If you're looking to get into resin printing, maybe you wanna do miniatures or D&D models and such, instead of FDM printing, well then we have the Anycubic Photon Mono on sale right now. It's not a huge discount, $21 off normal price brings it down to $179. You're getting a mono screen that's gonna last you longer, print faster, it's a 2K resolution for nice print quality, so you're not gonna have stair step effect from a low resolution screen. You can find cheaper SLA 3D printers out there, but when you're talking about something with a 2K mono screen in it, this is a pretty darn good value as a star resin printer. It's the one that I personally picked up myself to get into resin printing. Speaking of resin SLA type printing, you're gonna need some resin to go with that. So the folks at Anycubic and Soriatech both have sales going right now. The Anycubic Basic resin is running $25 for a one kilogram bottle. And the Soriatech ABS-like, if you want something that's a little stronger, a little tougher, maybe some functional resin prints, that's on sale for one kilogram at $30 right now. Now, if you already have something like an Ender 3 or Neptune 2, and maybe you're looking for the next step up in quality of machine, I have for you the Focus Tech Odin 5 F3 folding 3D printer. Now, the folding is not necessarily something that's gonna interest most folks, but that's actually the machine I have running directly behind me right now doing a print. This machine has quiet TMC2208 stepper motor drivers on it on a real Robin Nano 1.2 board from MakerBase. The machine uses a direct drive extrusion system versus a Bowden system. So you'll have an easier time of tuning in retractions for less stringing on your prints. And when you're talking about higher end materials like ABS, ASA, well, this actually comes with a volcano type heater block assembly for a larger melt zone for those higher temperature requiring materials. I have not put enough time in on this machine to fully recommend it, and I am not ready to review the machine, but I will say my initial impressions from running it for the last couple of days have been pretty impressed with it overall. Retail price on this machine is $350, but right now, Black Friday special, it's on sale for $269. Nice. All right, now let's talk 3D printer parts and pieces and tools for you tinkerers, for the folks who wanna play with their printers, work on them a little more, and upgrade their capabilities. Not too long ago, I reviewed the Creality CR Touch. You can check out that review up here. This is an auto bed level sensor. I put that in quotations because it does not replace manual leveling on most machines. It just improves upon it. But I did find that in my personal testing, it was outperforming the BL Touch by a small margin. Well, it's on sale right now for $32. The next item I have up for you is the BQH2 direct drive extruder. I recently did a video about how to repair this unit, but this is now the V2.0, so they say, claiming there are some minor upgrades to it that allow it to perform better and function better than the version that I installed on my Ender 5 Plus. I paid almost $100 for my BQH2, and I've been really happy with it on my 
Ender 5 Plus. It has taken a lot of tuning to get it where I want it. This is not an entry level upgrade for most machines, but this thing is on sale right now for $63. Along with that BQH2, I was trying to find some mainboard upgrades, motherboard upgrades, quiet motherboards for Ender 3s and things like that. I didn't really find any good deals on Amazon, but I did on Big Tree Tech's website. Now, some of the highlights over there right now, the Voron 2.4 screen that they make is $10.99. In fact, it's the first piece of my Voron build that I ordered because it was just too cheap not to. However, my personal favorite quiet mainboard for the Ender 3 has a new revision that is even cheaper on their website right now. In my main Ender 3, the machine that I use the most, I run a Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 V2.0 mainboard. Well, now they have a V3.0. The V3.0 versus the V2.0 board doesn't really seem to have much in the way of upgrades. I was mostly interested in the price. This thing is on pre-order right now, but supposedly shipping yet this month in November, it's on sale for $39.99. That's cheaper than the Creality 4.2.7 silent board, and it's cheaper than the SKR Mini E3 V2 is on Amazon right now. For those unfamiliar, this will give you the quiet TMC 2208 stepper motor drivers for all of your axes on an Ender 3. It'll also allow you to unlock some more potential of the Marlin firmware, such as Linear Advance for less bubbling and oozing of your extrusions. It allows you to unlock more capability, but it is a little bit more of a tuning board than the Creality boards. This is for somebody who wants to tinker and play with and really improve their machines. However, that said, you could pull this out of the box, put it in your Ender 3 and just get the quiet functionality and it'll still be cheaper than the 4.2.7. And later on, if you wanna dive into those deeper functions, you'll have that capability. With the global chip shortage, it's been a little hard to get your hands on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 3 to run Octoprint on. So if you wanna do that, well, Thomas Somlaterer recently did a video, I'll put a link to it up here, about running Octoprint on your older Android devices or new Android device if you wanna spend that kind of money. Ever since I watched that video, I have immediately started running Octoprint on my old Google Pixel 2 XL phone and I am loving it. I've got the built-in 4K webcam right there on the phone. I can run my moment lenses on the case that I have for this phone. All it required from me was a USB-C hub. That gave me the USB port that I needed to plug into the printer and a power delivery in port to supply power to the phone. The hub that I personally picked up went up in price after I ordered it. So I found another one that's on sale right now for $17 and put that on my list. This also has an RJ45 port. So while Wi-Fi is fine for the most part, if you're like me and you're not always wanting to rely on Wi-Fi, you'd rather the stable connection of a wired connection, you will have that with this hub as well. All right, folks, I think we're gonna end the list there. I do have a few more items on there, but I felt this was a pretty good stopping point. You can find the rest of the items in the links in the description down below. I've put together a list on my Amazon affiliate store. There are a couple of links to like Focus Tech and ComGrow on there. Some of those are affiliate links, but not all. If you use the affiliate links, you are helping to support my content creation. I get a little kickback from those companies, but they, they do not charge you anything more. Let's face it, affiliate links are the primary reason the content creators generally take the time to look through these things and put these lists together. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below, are you gonna pick up any of these items? Or did you find some other deals that I missed? Let us know in the comments. Get subscribed to keep up to date with all the maker content yet to come. Thanks for coming around, folks.